So in this video, I'm going to show you how you're going to run Linux terminal in Windows 10 using the feature that is WSM or Windows Subsystem for Linux. First, you need to click on the start button and search for turn Windows features on or off and open it. Open this application. Now let me maximize it. Now from the list of the features, search for Windows subsystem for Linux and check that option. Click on OK. It, it will apply the changes. Now restart your computer, close all the applications and restart. As you can see, I've restarted my computer and just for being sure, I'm going to open um, turn Windows features on or off in my system. And I will see if the option is still checked and installed successfully. Okay, it's done. Now we need to click on start and open store. Then connect to the uh, internet and search for the favorite distro that you want to install or the command line of the distro of which you want to install. Let me connect to the internet. Yeah. Now see the publisher of the software that you are downloading. For Ubuntu it must be canonical. Yeah. And select the correct version. I think Ubuntu 20.04 is the latest version, if I'm not wrong. So I will install. Click on Get. It's as simple as you install an application from the Windows Store. Previously, it was a bit difficult. You had to go to PowerShell and write some sort of code and all. And the basic form of Linux is, uh, the core of Linux is related to comment line, as we know of. I was hearing that many features are not here since it's running under window as a subsystem only a very minimal version of this of, of these command lines are getting installed it will this is a very good step that has been taken by microsoft uh, windows and over time i hope this will get much better the taste of linux when it comes near to home it's great as you can see, the installation is complete. Now I'm going to launch this software. Yeah. Okay, it needs some time for installing. We have to wait. Due to some strange reason, I can't cut these parts in the video editor. I don't know why. I would be soon switching to some different video editor because it really makes difficult if such portions are not cut. Okay, enter the uh, enter username which you want as your own. Now the username username must be all small in letters and they must not contain any special characters. Okay, let me enter my name. Oops, I entered the capital letter by mistake. Wait. Enter a password. And you need to retype that again. Okay, then the installation should continue and there it is. Done.
if you want some other kind of distro like the Kali Linux which is definitely used for penetration testing security purposes and hacking you can also install the distro of your choice I think Arch uh, let me search for Arch Linux it's here no can't find Arch uh, I think I had seen source open source open source is also there yeah that's it start enjoying thank you